What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got ourselves an elite Pokemon in the early stages of competitive for Scarlet and Violet. We got ourselves an Armourouge team for Regulation Age. Now, when it comes to Armourouge, this Pokemon hasn't really been used that much besides, again, in the beginning of competitive for Scarlet and Violet. But now that Regulation is back and the power level is dropping down, Armourouge is back in the meta and is a super strong and viable Pokemon. So we're going to be using it today dominating with it, drop expanded forces into psychic terrain. But let's talk about this Armourouge build a little bit more. It's got Flash Fire with the Life Orb, making it do a significant amount of damage. It's got the Grass Terror type with expanded force, Energy Ball, Heat Wave, and Trick Room. So we can set Trick Room, we can do big time damage, we can do it all. Pair up with Armourouge, obviously we have Indeed to set that Psychic Surge. Also has Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Trick Room. Just a perfect support Pokemon for Armourouge. Now, this team also features two other combos. We have Lycanroc and Tyranitar, very strong Sandstorm combo that can actually grant weather control for us. Then we got Don Dozo and Tatsukiri, another combo that's kind of like Armourouge and Ndidi, where it was really strong in the beginning of Scarlet and Violet, and now it's not that strong, but it should be making a comeback considering Regulation, regulation H is actually lowering the power level. So, yeah, really like this team, and it's looking real dope and looking real old school for Scarlet and Violet. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match, showcasing Arm Rouge in Regulation H. What a way to get this video started. We got Arm Rouge, they got Cerule Edge. Match number one on its way. We're going up against a nice little rain squad with Cerule Edge, Ursaluna, Archiludon, and then they got Pelipper with Palafin and Confi. Now, Confi is rather annoying, especially with the bulky Pokemon such as Archiludon or like Ursaluna. So I'm gonna need a way to kind of take that out. I like having T-Tar here. T-Tar could be really good. And another Pokemon that I like would be Indeedian Armourouge. They have no way of taking out the terrain. So that could just work really well for us. So I'm gonna go into Armourouge. I'm gonna go into Indeedee. I think T-Tar and like Rock for like late game could be good. Or I could just go into like T-Tar and maybe just bring like Don Dozo on its own. Which isn't bad. I mean, I got Rest. I got the Lumberry. I got Rock Slide. I got Wave Crash. Terror Blast. The thing is, I kind of want to pop Trick Room. And Dantozo and Tatsugiri kind of makes Dantozo a bit too fast for Trick Room. But I have T-Tar. Maybe I could just have, like, Lycan Rock for late game. Yeah, it's got Focus Ash. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with the Focus Ash Pokemon. So, I don't mind bringing Lycan Rock. Especially with three Pokemon. Should be able to waste out a few turns of Trick Room. Maybe protect one turn with Lycan Rock. Get it out of the Trick Room and then kind of go from there. But, yeah. I'm planning on setting up Trick Room. Maybe dropping some Expanded Forces. Let's just see who they end up bleeding here. First and foremost. But I'm loving this. I'm loving Armourouge here. Hopefully this Pokemon can just show out today. Grab at least two wins would be nice. Nice little winning record would always be nice. But they end up going Palafin. I mean, this is just a fair turn for me to set up Trick Room. And maybe just drop a, what's it called? Expanded Force, right? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Expanded Force. Send it. And pop a Trick Room. Because, like, what's Palafin really doing here? Flip turn and maybe get off some damage? That's fine. You might just hard swap instead. Now he's going to flip turn out of here. That's fine. I mean, again, some damage. Nothing crazy. We survived. No problem. I wish we were weak this policy. That would have been awesome. <laughs> just boosting up here. Let's see who they go into because they got to swap first and they're going to go into anybody but Ursaluna, hopefully. It's going to be Ursaluna. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Calm my... Calm mind on Comfy. That's a little crazy. That's a little wild. That is a little wild, but Expanded Force is going to launch here. We are chunking up some nice damage, doing decent damage to the Confi more so than to the Arch Lunon, but still, I like that. I like that. So from here, we're going to pop Trick Room, and I think we're just going to follow me some turns. Keep Armourouge alive, right? Got to keep Armourouge alive. Just drop another Expanded Force to get rid of this. Uh, Actually, Heat Wave should be able to get rid of it. The Confi? Actually, I don't know. I think we should just make sure that we get rid of Confi. Let's do it. So we'll go for another Expanded Force. We'll go for Follow Me instead of uh, Helping Hand. And Giga Drain is actually going to fly, but it's protected by the terrain, which is really nice. There's a lot of uh, what's called moves, Compi's moves, turn in the first turn priority. So that's really good for us to have this terrain. The Follow Me comes out here. Expanded Force is going to get rid of that Calm My Compi. We get Archelodon down to half HP, but it is starting to stamina boost, which is looking a little creepy, right? We, we don't want that. Not creepy, more so scary, right? We don't, we don't want that. We do not want Archer that I'm boosting up. So we got to start trying to get rid of it. Body Press going to launch. Can you soak this in DD? You do actually really well. Really well. So now the question is, we go for another follow me. We might. Helper comes out here. Yeah, I think we just follow me. And we, we drop an expanded force. 
and then eventually, obviously, she's going to go down. And once Indeedy goes down, we get off the uh, we get out our T-Tar, which is good. Are you Quick Claw? Why are you Quick Claw? Kind of weird. He's going to Wide Guard. Oh, you son of a biscuit. All right, that's fine. At least we're not choice. I can switch into, like, my Energy Ball. So we'll do this. Um... And also, I'm going to go for probably another body press, which I should survive. I'm not choice. He knows I'm life orb. He knows I'm life orb, so that's good. 100% knows I'm life orb. But Electro Shot's actually going to come out here, so he's trying to boost his special attack now. Now, indeed, he could soak this. Indeed, he's a pretty bulky Pokemon. And I really hope it soaks. Uh, do I change weather this turn? I'm definitely changing weather now, but I was going to say, if indeed he soaks it, do I hard swap? But I'm going to get out this weather. We still have terrain for a little bit. Um, and from here, do I want to drop a rock slide? Not really, right? The wide guard's scaring me. Do I think he's going to pull it out? Probably, most likely. So I think going into like, maybe just like an energy ball here. And terror you into, yeah, you got to terrestrialize into flying here. So body press doesn't KO you. And we can launch it into this slot. So I'm hoping he goes for wide guard. We're going to terrestrialize our T-Tar. We got a little bit of weather. You honestly might hard swap Pelipper. Because we know you have Palafin for late game. Um, I've got any ways to deal with that. I mean, I got Focus Ash on my Lycanroc, which works really well. Exceptionally well, I should say. And Pelipper is going to go for another wide guard. So that's a good call for us to just kind of, you know, stay with our single target moves. I know that he is stamina boosted, which really sucks. But Energy Ball does a beautiful chunk of damage, bringing Pelipper down to yellow. Dropping a special defense. And Flash Cannon's going to launch. The Flash Cannon launching, doing significant damage. Low Kick, how much damage are you doing? That's good damage here as well. Now, honestly, I might just go for another Expanding Force, because we should have one turn left in Trick Room. And I doubt Pelipper... Actually, we're better off just going for... Our same moves because we're slower. We're already slower. We kind of just proved ourselves there. I can rip an energy ball. I can rip a low kick. I'm cool with this. There's no need for us to go into double hitting moves. There, there's just no need for it. He's gonna go for weather ball. Actually, you're you're slower than me. That kind of hurts us hold to know. So I'm just gonna drop out here. Titar is gonna pick up the KO onto Archer Ludon. We have Sandstorm for a couple turns, and Trick Room should end perfectly here. Actually, dude, what am I thinking? I was slower this whole time. Yeah, that's rough news for me. Or did Trick Room end and I didn't notice? Did Trick Room end and I didn't notice? I don't know. I guess I just wasn't paying attention too much. But now it comes down to my... It comes down to my Lycanroc. But I don't think Lycanroc can do enough damage to KO Arch Ludon. That's my only problem. So yeah, I kind of sold this match, I think. Might have sold this match. No, but Trick Room just ended. I just read the speeds wrong. What am I doing? Yeah, I definitely just sold this match. Um, We're going to need a flinch here. And hopefully no wide guard. It's the only way we win this match. I mean, we have Focus Ash, but I mean, they have Palafin in the back end. He ends up withdrawing. Hold up. You might have gave me a shot. You might have gave me a shot, especially if I can flinch. But I think this is doing like negative six damage to this uh, Arch Ludon. Let's see. I think it's doing like negative six. Yeah, it did so little. Can I get a flinch? That's the real question. We need a flinch more so than anything. No, no shot we get a flinch. But now we're down to our Focus Ash. He could just jet punch through. Yeah, that one's on me. That one's totally on me. I should just protect it at least a turn with Armor Rouge. Looking at the speeds there. But Pelipper was actually really slow. Because how slow are you, Armor Rouge? Pelipper's that slow? I mean, 96 is mediocre speed. I can see Pelipper being slower. Yeah, it makes sense. Definitely makes sense. So, definitely loss on my end. Did not read the speeds right. I'm just going to run this one. We start off this video 0-1. Looking to bounce back in match number 2. Moving on to match number two, looking to bounce back here. And we're going up against kind of a similar team. They got Expanding Force Hatterene with Indeedy. We have Arm Rouge with Indeedy. They also have Chandelure, Baxcalibur, Torkoal, who we're going to have to bring Weather Control in to kind of calm that Pokemon down. And last but not least, they have Gallade. Gallade's a nice little strong Pokemon. I could go T-Tar and Rock here for the lead. I think that's pretty good for us to just like double Rock Slide through. And... Yeah, I am going to end up doing that. So I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to end up bringing Armor Rouge for late game. I think they're going to bring their own Indeedee, so I'm not even going to need my Indeedee. And last but not least, we could just go into, like, Choice Specs Tatsugiri. 
could be pretty good. Draco Meteor, Hydro Pump, Money Water. I kind of like the move pool here. I'm going to go. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. So we're going to play this one a little weird. Bring the Lycanroc and Titar right off the rip. We might end up swapping Titar if they don't need Torkoal. Because I'm thinking they're just going to swap into Torkoal. And then from there, I could just go in like Armors or even Tatsukiri. Probably Armors, especially with like Flash Fire. And kind of dodge some of their moves. But I mean, Titar and Lycanroc really thrive. They really just do a lot of damage here. And we got Rock Slide, Super Effective on the backs, Calibur, Torkoal, and Chandelure. And on top of that, we have Knock Off onto T-Tar, but we're going to have to choice into a move, so it's going to be a little weird. Depending on who they go into, might make us... We'll probably swap T-Tar turn one. Mo more likely than not, we'll swap T-Tar turn one. Because if they lead Torkoal, they got Weather, we got to get rid of it. If they don't lead Torkoal, we think they're going to swap into Torkoal. So we're just going to swap our T-Tar and try to predict that. So let's just see who they end up leading here. Anybody but Torkoal, right? Indeed, you had a ring. Actually, do I just... I think I should just attack this. I think I should just double rock slide. Go for a double, double flinch chance. I could go in a knockoff. I could easily go in a knockoff here. But I mean, the rock slide flinches are sounding pretty good for me. But follow me. Chance are that's coming out here. Right? Chance are follow me is flying. Could just go. Oh, I don't have knockoff. I have insurance. Hmm. Still gonna do nice damage. But let's go for some flinches. Let's just double rock slide up. Double rock slide up. Yep, there's follow me. Can we get a flinch on the Hatterene? If we get a flinch on the Hatterene, we can pretty much just like win this match. Rock slide's gonna land first one, which is solid. Decent damage. Not bad damage. Respectable damage. Other rock slides landing. Give me a flinch. Just give me a flinch. Thank you. That's all I need it. That's all I need it. And now a rock slide will pick up a double KO. And I can swap my T-Tart and reset my choice band. Really good for us. This is really good for us. Yeah, we're going to swap T-Tar into Armourouge here because the terrain is out. And I'm going to just pop another Rock Slide. I like where we're sitting. I like where we're sitting. <laughs> Hot start for us. Like I said, double Rock Slide. We get the flinch. We're sitting in a really good position. And we got the flinch. And we got the flinch right off the bat. Nothing a double Rock Slide can't handle. Not one chance at flinch. Two, two chances at flinches. And we got it. That's exactly what we needed. So Armourouge is going to come out here. If RNG doesn't screw me here, we should be able to pick up a double KO. I mean, what's all this Hatterene anyway? You going in Torkoal? I'm way ahead of you. I'm way ahead of you. I'm way ahead of you if this is Torkoal. Gallade, okay. Rock Slide, ooh, Rock Slide's missing. Dodges in DD, come on now. That's not what I wanted. You going in Trick Room here? That's not what I wanted. <laughs> that is not what I wanted. So Gallade comes out here. Um, Fighting moves are a little scary. Mm, what do I want to do here? It's pop expanded forces or heat waves. Heat waves probably a little bit better for us. I mean, I have focus ash, which I might just use on my on my lichen rock here, and just go for close combat. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah we're cool with that because heat waves gonna come out before lichen rock. So, yeah, we'll go for rock slide. Or do I swap him? I could protect him this turn. We go into tattoo here. I'm just gonna protect him. I think you attack my lichen rock. I really do. So indeed he gets the withdrawal. We're looking to go for a heat wave. Are you there's no shot your Y Garden here, right? There's no shot your Y Garden. And you die at the buffets anyway. So you're just sacrificing your Hatterene, is that your play? Heat wave's gonna fly out here, and of course Hatterene dodges it. Just my luck. Hatterene dodges that. Sacred Sword's gonna fly, we do block it. So he's looking to Sacred Sword me down. Um can these buffets KO the Hatterene? Really hope so. Awesome. Bye bye, Hatterene. <laughs> Just sent it out here to die out to Sandstorm damage. We love it. So, missing Heat Wave didn't really matter. Um, hmm. And, like I said, I knew they were going to set the terrain for my arm rouge. I am scared of that Glade. Like, Glade does have Y Guard, but it didn't use it that turn. So, will it use it this turn? Maybe. I might switch up my moves. Maybe throw an Energy Ball it their way in close combat just in case. But Didi's gonna come out here. And he go for follow me, go for follow me. I'm gonna I'm gonna rip an energy ball. I'm gonna rip an energy ball and a close combat. Like just finish off this match here. Cause it looks like he wants to go for Sacred Sword in my Lycan Rock with which I'm all cool with. I got the focus ash. I can soak it up no problem. And there's the wide guard. Come on, man. I'm on top of this now. I'm on top of this now. There's, there has been too many Y guards for me 
that have ruined my matches. I've learned from my mistakes. Energy Ball launches. Bye-bye, Gallade. Close combat's gonna launch. Actually, Indeedee goes first. Let's be honest here. Actually, Lycanroc goes first. Bye-bye. Actually, they didn't pop Trick Room, so that's why. Working really well. We've just been slapping up on them right now. Just slapping up. Actually, yeah, we did. They did pop Trick Room, didn't they? Unless Indeedee was trying to cancel out Trick Room. I'm a little confused, did they? Because why is Lycanroc going second here? Wait a minute. Did I pop Trick Room? I popped Trick Room. No, I didn't pop Trick Room. They popped Trick Room. I'm so confused right now. They popped Trick Room, I think, turn one. Yeah, with the Indeedee. Okay. Alright, we're ready to roll. So it's back to Calibur, the last Pokemon. I can just legit go into Expanded Force and go for a close combat on top of that. And that's going to be a sweep for match number one. They're going to cancel. Actually, they're going to Thrasilize and not try to get swept. Alright, I, I respect it. I respect it. Excalibur with the terror type going into straight water. I mean, this expanded force is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. So, I mean, we could just say bye-bye to Excalibur, correct? Is this going to one-tap it? I, I would think so. It does so much damage. Yeah. Arm Rouge is so back. Bounce back battle here in match number two. We're sitting one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go hop to our third and final. Look for that winning record. Moving on to our third and final match, and we paired up with the same opponent. So I'm ready to rock it. I'm ready to get after it. Hopefully they bring some different Pokemon. We're going to try to get after it and win yet another battle. Now, I could lead Don Dozo and eventually swap into Tatsugiri, which is pretty good for us. And I think we're going to give that a try. I think we're just going to go Don Dozo, and we're also going to go in with, like, Tyranitar here. Just for the lead, we can get some weather. Actually, do I really want the Sandstorm? Not really. Not really. I could just go into Armors. Look to do some nice damage, and I like that. So I'm going to go Arm Rouge, I'm going to go Don Dozo, Tatsugiri, and last but not least, we are going to bring Titar on its own. I think they bring the Psychic Terrain, no problem. I'm not going to have to worry about bringing DD kind of like last match, but I need Titar just in case they want to go Trick Room, Torkoal, and then just Eruption. Like, Titar has to be there to kind of protect us from that, and we got to be able to get after it. So, same opponent, trying to do something different here. Would love to grab ourselves a winning record. We are sitting one on one. We lost the first match, kicked butt in the second match, actually swept the second match. We swept this last match, and now we're looking to do it again. I would love to go back-to-back -back sweeps on the same opponent. That'd be very disrespectful, but I'm all about it. But I'm all about it. So we're going to be trying to do it. Let's see who they end up leading here. Let's see. But I always like going like back-to-back -back with opponents because like each Pokemon match is different. They really are. So it's like once you know someone's team, it's like, hey, I got to play this differently. They end up going back to Calibur and Galade this time around. We go Arm Rouge and Don Dizzy. Now from here, I mean... Honestly, I'm just going to swap in a tattoo. They got Gallade for like wide guard purposes. Um, hmm. I'm cool with just swapping into a uh, tattoo here. And I swapped in on the wrong slot. Do I go for Wave Crash? I could tear grass, but that really wouldn't benefit me. I think we just go for Wave Crash and we look to do some damage into... Into Gallade, and then we just save our arm roost for later play. All right, let's do it. Don Dizzy looking to bounce back here. Look at me back in regulation H. I love Don Dozo. I think it's such like a cool combo, especially because like no other Pokemon functions like that. Where it's like, hey, double battles brings two Pokemon into one, you get all these stat boosts. I think it's just such a cool combo. I think they got to make more Pokemon like that. But honestly, sometimes I think like I don't want them to bring more Pokemon like that, because that's what makes Don Dozo so unique. It's like, he's the only Pokemon who can do that. So it's like, it's really cool, these two. So we Commander up. Hopefully someone's attacking Armors, right? Just so we get that dodge and like a free turn out of this. Be cool if he's going for like Glaive Rush into Armor slot. I want to see a Terra type right off the rip. It's going to be Water Terra. Excalibur, yeah. So Water Terror, Terror Bax comes out here. Good thing we're going for Wave Crash into Gallade. And I still have rest with, like, the Chesto Berry. The Wave Crash is going to launch here. How much damage is this doing? Enough. It does enough. <laughs> so this thing is gone. See you later, Gallade. I think that's more so my plan here is just, like, target down this left side with Wave Crash right now. I do have rest with the Chesto Berry, and I wasn't expecting that, and now I'm absolutely terrified. I've never been more terrified in my life. Never been more terrified in my life. Indeed, he does come out here, so we do get a little bit of terrain. Um, 
I'm scared. There's, there's no other way to put it. I'm going to wave crash down this Indeedy, hope to soak up a shot from Bax Calibur, and then rest up next turn. All right. So it again, wave crash. Send it. <laughs> Attack. Actually, no, what am I doing? I should have terrored grass and went for terror blast. I should have terror grass and went for terror blast. I should have done that. Might be a next turn kind of play. Let's see. Dude, he's ripping. Don Dizzy just ripping here. Don Dizzy ripping. I am taking some mean recoil. I think I die out the backs here. Just for scale shot. Actually, I soaked this. I soaked this. You're so getting terrible. I, said. I might not even rest. Actually, we should rest. I think we soaked like that. Oh my lord. Swords ain't scaring me. This thing's defense drops. I can terrible blast it right now if I want to. But I think I'd rather rest just to annoy our opponent. Like, yeah, we're going right back up to full HP. How the ring comes out here. You could go for Trick Room. I'm just going to get rid of this dot. I'm actually just going to sacrifice my boy. I'm going to play it safe. I could rest. I could rest. But it's like, if I rest, I run the... I run the problem of them popping Trick Room with a, with a, what's it called? With a, with a Sword Stance Pokemon, so then they'll have two Pokemon on the field. But if they pop Trick Room and I take out Baxcalibur, it's like, hey, we're pretty much just locking this matchup. It's a 3 one at this point. So I finally use my Terra. I go Grass. Luckily, I do have Terra Blast. They're not ready for it. And Baxcalibur should say Night-Night. Bye-bye, Baxcalibur. Get on at my game. You and your Sword Stance ain't standing a chance. You stand no chance. Get on out of here. So <laughs> those are just ripping here. And they set the terrain for me again. So if I need armors, I have it. More importantly, I have T-Tar to kind of win this match. They don't have Terra anymore. And there's the trick room. That's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. So now I am going to go for rest because it'd be hilarious if I can get this rest off. And he's going to go for Expanded Force, which probably KOs me, right? Let's be honest here. It's KO me. Yeah. It's all good. It happens. I can just bring out T-Tar. I win the game. Thanks for playing. No sweep, but still. Back-to-back -back victories up against the same opponent. We love it. Don Dizzy was, just went nuts this match. He just went nuts. So T-Tar out and about. I can't believe they didn't bring Torkoal into either of these matchups. I was so scared of Torkoal both times. I was like, I gotta watch out for Torkoal. Torkoal just does too much damage, especially in Trick Room. I gotta watch out for it. And I just haven't seen it. I just haven't seen it. But I'm going to go for Assurance here, and we're going to choice in Muddy Water. A little bit of Muddy Water action. That's something going to launch. Could do some nice damage. Oh my lord, it does a bit too much damage. Hold up. I do have Arm Rouge. Am I going to lose this? No shot I lose this, right? This thing is orbed. Assurance going to launch. This should do, it does double damage. And yeah, T-Tar's just picking up the KO. Double damage, choice band, stab. Get this thing on out of here. GG's to our opponent. We go 2-1 and for today's video. So guys, we showcase Armour today, and this Pokemon is back. Same thing with Don Dozo. They're going to be great options for Regulation H, and I'm super excited to be using them. I got I got the showcase today, and at least grab you guys a winning record. We went 2-1. and one. Love to see them all around. You got Indeedee, Armour, you got Lake and Rock Titar, and you also have Don Dozo and Tetsugiri. Three very strong combos, especially in this format that I think we're going to be seeing a good bit. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.